This is Andrew Jacobs for the New York Times in Gihuan, the Philippines. The drive from the countryside to the city of 47,000 on the coast of eastern Samar is a journey to the epicenter of Typhoon Haiyan's wrath. The typhoon first made landfall here, killing 99 and leaving 2,700 injured. A speedy evacuation spearheaded by Guillaume's mayor saved lives. But what was once a pleasant seaside community now feels like a never-ending expanse of rubble. Although it's hard to believe, a lot of people I spoke to acted upbeat despite their desperate circumstances. A day after the typhoon, we're so hopeless, like we felt like we're dying. But the day that the U.S. Navy came, the Americans, everything, we felt like we're safe already because someone is helping us and we're so thankful for that. Aid has arrived from Europe, Australia and the U.S. At the Guan airstrip built by the Americans during World War II, planes arrive with food and supplies and evacuate the wounded. Even though the municipal building has lost its roof, local officials have set up a distribution and logistics center. The photographer, Brian Denton, and I slept on the floor here. It's difficult to imagine how this city will recover, but amidst the devastation, some signs of normal life have returned. A boy flies a kite, women wash clothes, and children play volleyball next to the ruins of the city's 17th century cathedral. We still have the, the, the hope, we hope that someday uh, we will be able to uh, recover from the disaster. Thank you, thank you.